How many people in this audience have experienced fear or worry in certain situations? Probably a lot of you. How many of you have experienced such fear or worry that you are literally frozen with it? You shake, sweat, have trouble breathing? Those who experience anxiety are more likely to experience bouts of depression. Imagine being a child or a young adult experiencing these symptoms every single day. What would you do to make it stop? Many are willing to take medications to make the uncomfortable feelings go away. Is it okay for children and adolescents to be taking antidepressants? For me, the answer was yes. My name is Jessica, and after going through a traumatic event at the age of 12, I began to experience symptoms of anxiety and depression. I would later be diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Antidepressants have widely been used to treat adults with anxiety and depression, and have recently begun to expand their uses towards young adults and children. Today, I would like to, to discuss with you the use of antidepressants in children and adolescents under the age of 18. Together, we will look at the positives, the negatives, and the alternatives to treating with this medication. First, let's take a look at the positive side to prescribing medication. According to the Washington Post, the number of children taking psychiatric drugs has increased. In 2002, approximately 6% of boys and girls were taking an antidepressant. That's triple the rate in the period 1994 to 96. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, are the newest, most popular form of antidepressant. Other form of antidepressant medications are tetracyclics, tricyclics, and monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs. It is important to understand how the brain works in order to fully comprehend the effect that antidepressant will have on a given individual. Depression forms as a result of too little serotonin or noradrenaline being produced in the brain. As we can see from our visual, when SSRIs are ingested in their job, is to block the reuptake of serotonin in order to produce a greater impulse in the transmitter to increase activity in that part of the brain. Brown University Child and Adolescent Psychopharmacology Update states that for each 1% increase of the use of SSRIs in adolescents, there is a decrease of 0.23 suicides per 100,000 adolescents per year. Now that we have looked at the positives to treating with this medication, Let's take a look at the flip side and look at the negatives to children taking this antidepressants. And that includes all the risks, severe complications, and side effects that come along with it. According to the Mayo Clinic, the Food and Drug Administration recorded a clinical trial in which they found that, four per that children taking antidepressants had a 4% greater chance of suicidal thoughts and behavior compared to 2% chance to those taking a sugar pill. Children and adolescents that are prescribed antidepressants are also more likely to suffer adverse effects such as insomnia, aggression, worsening depression, suicidal thoughts, or behavior. In 2004, the FDA required all manufacturers to label their antidepressants with a black box warning that to ensure that all parents and children would understand the effects or the risks that were associated with taking antidepressants. In discussing the positives and negatives to treating with antidepressants, it is important to look at the other methods that could be used to treat such other psychological illnesses. One such method that has proven effective is cognitive, psychother cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, is a type of therapy that is effective and risk-free. It is an alternative to medication that focuses on the role our thoughts play in how we feel and what we do. It is based on the cognitive model of emotional response. It plays on the idea that the internal, our thoughts, are what causes our behaviors or our feelings instead of the external places or events. This is especially beneficial in adults and has been proven to be so in children and adolescents as well because it simply for the fact that we can change how we think as opposed to changing or eliminating Ex, um, external problems. It has been shown that CBT used in conjunction with antidepressants provides the greatest response among those with anxiety and depression. Treatment for adolescents with depression study was a clinical trial funded by the National Institute of Mental Health that took teenage um, that took adolescents ages 12 to 17 and compared them with four groups and found that 71% were CBT and medication combination provided the greatest response. This is promising results for youth facing the harsh reality of a life of anxiety and depression. 
Today, we have learned about the positives, the negatives, and the alternatives to prescribing antidepressants to children and adolescents. As we can see, this issue is multifaceted. For me, therapy used in tandem with antidepressants was the key to getting my life back. SSRIs are extremely useful medication for some who are experiencing depression. However, they also have the potential to cause suicidal ideations or behavior in those who are under 18. When dealing with anxiety and depression, the facts point to the most beneficial treatment being therapy used in conjunction with antidepressants. This would allow for easy monitoring by a mental health professional. As the scientific American mind reminds us, a better alternative to prescribing antidepressants to fewer children and adolescents would be to continue to prescribe them, prescribe them but with close and careful monitoring by the physician. Otherwise, we may be faced with a tragic irony. Efforts to protect children from suicidal thoughts and attempts through lower anti through lower antidepressant prescription rates may lead to greater harm through increased suicide rates because of inadequately treated depression. This issue will never go away. It is crucial to be aware and to keep up with the current research in order to ensure our children's safety and well-being. Thank you.